Hi, this is Stuart Cooper with your Mortgage Market Update for September 6th, 2022. In today's video, we're going to talk about interest rates, of course. We're also going to talk about what the housing market's doing, and I'm going to give you some great websites so that you can do your own research, so you can look at appreciations and what the markets are doing, because you know what? There's a lot of... There's a lot of um, clickbait out there that talking about the market's crashing, and you know what? It's not crashing. It's definitely softening up, but the appreciation over the last 12 months, I think is going to be pretty surprising. But real quickly, what I want to share with you is um, we're looking at the 10-year treasury right now, and this is going back all the way to about 2000, and this is just to kind of put everything in kind of in, in like kind of like a reality check. So you can see right now, we're at 3.342. We're at pretty much the highest we've had um, since probably January. But I do expect us to continue to keep going up and rates to continue to get worse over time for the foreseeable future. But we can see here back in 06, 07, how high rates really got up to. You can see the yield was 5.326. So there's some definite move for rates to go even higher than they're currently at. And I anticipate that because you know what? The economy is still too strong. The Federal Reserve is definitely going to have to raise interest rates to get things kind of cooled down a little bit. And I remember I told you right now the job of the Federal Reserve right now is, is to kind of destroy the markets. Is to basically stop the markets from going up to get inflation under control. And it's going to be a very difficult task. So anyway, with that said, let's talk about some of the great things that I'm going to share with you today. So so this is like the last like 20 years. And then we can see the last month or so. We can definitely see this in increase in interest rates. And I can go back the last five days. Um, and you can definitely see that rates are definitely trending on the upward. And of course, you can see everything else here is in the red. But let's talk about the actual housing market, okay? So, so we know rates are going up, and we know we know the economy is slowing down, and the housing market is definitely slowing down. So what I wanted to do is I want to share with you a couple things. Okay, so let's change things up a little bit. Let's talk about the actual housing market, and I mean the real housing market, not all this clickbait about the housing market's crashing, and oh my God, it's Armageddon in the real estate market, because it's all clickbait. It's, a lot of it's just BS. So let's just kind of walk you through this and what I mean by that. So here's a, here's a website by CoreLogic, and I just got this information today, and it's talking about the housing market as a whole, as a country as a whole. You know, of course, every area is gonna be a little bit different, but I want you to be able to do your own research and do the own, your own analytics on things. So let's just jump through this, okay so here's the u.s home price insights for september and what's interesting about this is okay so here's here's our first little chart all right 15.8 percent so on a national average the housing market's gone up 15.8 percent over the last 12 month period as of to, as of to um, july 2000 right and then what it shows is the forecast is the forecast. You can see it's considerably lower. It's not negative. It just means that the actual appreciation rates are, are declining. They're going down. Instead of getting, you know, 15, 17, 20, 30 percent appreciation every year, it's going down to to they're predicting 0.3 percent. Now, I don't like to try to make forecasts, but that's what they're expecting. So basically, the housing market's just the appreciation rate is declining, okay? Of course, that could cause the market to go down a little bit after that, but they're not expecting the housing prices to drop. They're expecting the appreciation to drop. So you're not going to get these big increases. So there's a big difference between the two. But you can tell that's a lot different than what you're seeing from a lot of this clickbait out there. And then this is interesting. I've always loved this chart because what this shows is it shows the, it shows from about 2000 onward and it shows the housing market as a whole. So you can see like here 2006, 2007 where we got this you know decline in the actual value. So you can see the appreciation slowed down and then we went into a declining period where property values did drop in a lot of portions of the United States. So you can see there was definitely a few years where the market was definitely soft and it was property values were dropping, okay? But now if we go over here, you can see we got this huge appreciation rate over the last three or four years, right? And now we're seeing the decline in the appreciation. But according to this chart, it's it's not showing us going into the negative. It's just showing that the appreciation is um, is reducing. And then what we're going to do is I'm um, doing this. This is another illustration. So 15.8%. And now I'm going to take you to another um another website but just so you can kind of see this if you click on the map it tells you what the hot markets are in the united states so surprise you know florida is almost 30 percent because everybody's moving to florida right so that's why florida is just on fire right now as far as home appreciations all right so that's what this is really showing you so the next thing we're going to do and this is by far one of my most favorite websites. It's a federal housing finance agency. If you're a first time buyer or you're a serious investor, this is something you should definitely look at because this shows you what the trends are for different geographical regions in the United States. And it shows what areas are the hottest markets in the country. And um, 
it's not it's not it's just raw data so that's why i like this this website and i hope you have a chance to take a look at it once again it's called the federal housing finance agency so you know go ahead and google that look it up and i'll put a i'll put a little link to there in my description on it so here is the market all right and these are the top 100 metro areas and and these um so it doesn't have every area, but it gives you a pretty good indication. So you can kind of see here, all, all the states that have high appreciation rates are pretty much in Florida right now, like like right here, Sarasota, Fort Myers, Riley, North Carolina, Florida, Florida, Tennessee, Arizona. Um, now I'm down here in California, Los Angeles, Orange County kind of area. But it, what's interesting about this chart is when you click on a, like on a, on a site, it gives you the history of it, which is phenomenal. So, so, so here's LA, right? LA, Long Beach, just basically all of LA. What the appreciation rate is year over year, what the appreciation rate is for the most recent quarter, and then um, cumulative changes since 2007. But this is what I like to look at. I like to look at this right here, year over year change, right? So this shows you what the housing market actually did statistically from like 2007 all the way till 2022. So you can see here, you know, 2000. 2007, 2008, that was when the housing market was softening and it's negative right here, right? Positive, couple negative years here. But look after that, every year is fairly positive. But look at the return, right? The returns are anywhere from 3%, right? 1.6, 10, but you get, you get the point. This is the actual appreciation rate. So um, you can kind of expect to get this type of appreciation just based on what the market's done in the past. So this is the actual appreciation rates for that geographical region in the United States. So which is gonna take me to my next step, because now what I'm gonna share with you is I'm gonna share with you the tools that I use to show clients on wealth accumulation, how wealth creation, and how you can become significantly more wealthy by owning real estate. And I'm gonna prove it to you with today's interest rates, and we're gonna plug in some variables, and then you can do, be your own judge, all right? And I, I hope you get excited about, it, about this. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, a purchase price of a million dollar purchase, 20% down. So your loan amount is going to be $800,000. I'm using an interest rate of 4.75% at a cost of one point. So that's just kind of where the market is as of right now, as of today. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, we're going to we're going to look at the appreciation rate and what that what does that actually mean and why owning real estate is such a huge hedge. So remember a few minutes ago when I was showing you those. Um, those returns off investments, you saw anywhere from you know, 1% to 18, 15%. So what we're gonna do here is let's just start off, I'm gonna start off with a 3% return, right? And here's the current interest rate. Because what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at a purchase price, right? We're buying a house for a million dollars, putting down 20%, loan amount's $800,000. So you have $200,000 of equity when you start the buy, on the start, right? When you, right when you buy that house. In five years, based off a 3% appreciation rate of the property. Now we're just using 3%. Um, the property is gonna go up to $1,159,274, right? Your loan balance is, is gonna go from 800,000 because you're making principal and interest payments based on a 30 year amortization schedule. Your loan balance is 731,985 roughly, right? If you see that? And that means in five years, the equity in the property would be 427,288. And that's because you've been making mortgage payments, paying down principal and interest, paying down the balance, and then you started with $200,000. So if you subtract the $200,000, this is your net gain, right? 200, 227,288 after five years. And you can see for 10 years, I'm not gonna bore you with the numbers, but you can see how like over 10 years and 15 years based on a 3% appreciation rate, right? So let's move this to um, let's move it to six percent. Now six percent is a realistic number for California. If you average the um, appreciation rates in California over the last 60, 70 years, it's about six percent a year. So this would be probably the most realistic expectations of current values down the future. So you can see here, if you bought a property for a million dollars in five years, it'd be worth one million three hundred thirty-eight thousand two fifty-five based off a six percent appreciation rate. Your loan balance is roughly the same because you know it's it doesn't matter what your appreciation rate is. The balance is going to be seven thirty-one nine eighty-five, which means. In, in five years, based off that 6% appreciation, your, your equity in the property is 606239 because we subtract out the $200,000 and then you pay down the balance you know, when your principal and interest payments. So you can see how your equity, your net worth is building exponentially. And you can look at it five years, 10 years, 15 years. And then let's just kick it up. Let's just kick it up to like, let's say 7%. All right. So you can see 7% return on investment. 
Um, properties valued in five years, 1,402, 10 years, 1,967. So you can see how much equity and wealth you are creating by just basically buying a property and letting natural appreciation take its course in a normal amortization schedule. Imagine if you had two or three or five properties and you're multiplying this on each property. You could see how you could really start to seriously make a lot of money, guys. And that's the key is the sooner you get in the real estate, the better. So I hope you like this information. If you do like this information, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and you know put a comment in there and I'll try to get back to you, all right? I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.